Now we're gonna be focusing in on this short-term investment account. So first I wanna just give a recap of how we put that on the books and when you might have a short-term investment account on your business books versus your personal books. So I'm gonna close up the assets here and then the liabilities. When we first started the company file, if it was a new business, oftentimes we're gonna need assets to help us to generate revenue in the future. Those assets will generally be things like property, plants, and equipment. In our case, it might be the building where we're gonna do our shop and it might be the inventory that we're gonna have to purchase because we're gonna need to sell the inventory in order to generate the revenue. So if you haven't had any revenue in the past because you're starting the business or you're expanding it, then you're gonna need the capital to start the business. Where's that gonna come from? Either it's coming from you, the owner, so you could put money from yourself into the business, the owners into the business in an investment, or we can get a loan. So that's what we did. We took out a loan and we put some money from us into the business. And then we bought property, plant and equipment and investment, hoping that that will help us generate revenue in the future, as well as inventory. Now, we also had some revenue or cash left over. And this is where the key comes in with the business here, because I think a lot of people get a little bit confused separating the business from the personal books, meaning on the business side of things, this business isn't here in order to generate revenue from returns on stocks and bonds. It's here to generate revenue from our business of get great guitars. That's what that's so any assets we have in the business, even cash, we have that in there in order to cover current costs as well as possibly invest into the future in property, plants and equipment and inventory to help us generate revenue that we're gonna get a return on. If we have assets in here that we think we are, we, we don't need because we generated revenue and we have cash and there's we have no plans of putting it back into the business, buying more property, plants and equipment, for example, or inventory in the future, then we don't usually want to keep it in the business. We would then take it out of the business, give it to the individual. The individual will then generally use it to invest in stocks and bonds or wherever else they would want to go. That's the that's the general idea. Now, it gets a little bit complicated when you have, you know, uh, retirement plans in the business and so on and so forth. But that's the general concept. So from the business perspective, if we had cash that we think we're going to use in the future, but we're holding on to it now. We're gonna buy property, plants, and equipment shortly, but we're holding on to it. That's when we might then put some of it into like a short-term investment typically. And we have a short-term investment here. Now there's different rules 